And he walked by the Sea of Galilee, and he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. So he chose them? Yeah, just like he chose you. Did he choose me too? <laughs> of course he did, Danny. He chose all of us, including this little one in your mom's belly. Ooh, I think you've got a bite. Yeah. Oh, let's see if we can get some dinner. Oh yeah, that, that is definitely bobbing. Oh, it's a big one. Do you need help? Mm -hmm. No, I got it. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a big one. This is the size of Danny. That's big. Oh yeah, it is. Wait, what is oh. that? Something's off. No. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> there goes dinner. I think you'll be fine. What do you mean when you say that? Don't worry about it. Come on, just say it. Mm, I don't think I will. I don't want to have to wash your feet again. <laughs> All right, kids. What's our one rule? E-L-E. -E. Everybody, everybody love, love everybody. everybody. <laughs> oh, done. I have a question. What's up, bud? I can understand how God would choose someone like me. How can you choose someone so moody and angry? He's just jealous that Jesus loves me more. Jesus loves us all equally. Even sinners? Especially sinners. Jesus came here for the sinners. You want to go to Luke chapter 8 for me? Now it came to pass afterwards that he went through every city and village, preaching and bringing glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and twelve were with him. And a certain woman who had been healed of evil spirits, infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom had come seven demons. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who provided for him from their substance. I like her story. Looks like we need some more firewood. I can take care of this, because I'm a man. All right, big man. Don't get lost. <laughs> looking for drugs or money, I have neither. But I have food, if that's what you're looking for. What's going on here? I'm hungry. Michael, did you finish that sandwich? I was probably gonna eat it later today. Give it to him. No, are you? Are you crazy? than we did. Oh my God. That was our last sandwich, okay?
Hey guys, you all right? You all hungry? Yeah, yeah, well, pretty hungry. Just give away our last sandwich. God bless you. Get yourself a box of chicken. Oh, you know what? Maybe pizza. Everybody likes pizza. Okay? God bless you. Thank God bless you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who is she? I don't know. It's a lot of money. Guess we're not going to be going hungry. <laughs> Buy a lot of sandwiches. Especially if you give away our last one. It's all right. I'll protect this. London, what are you doing? I'm fine. No, you're not. This is heavy. Ugh. I got it. Should we let your brother or me take this, okay? I don't need help. Sometimes you do. Can I talk to you about something? What's up? Um, over there. Danny, can you come here, please? Can you take this to the car? Yes, sir. If you see your sister carrying something heavy, take it for her, okay? Okay. Oh. All right, you can put that right here. <sighs> Good job. I think that is bias. What makes you say that? I think he just likes girls more than boys. Well, that's not true. Your dad's always talking about you and praying for you. I don't believe that. I've been thinking about my future, and I'm not sure how God's gonna use me. What do you mean? I, I don't know what I'm good at. What are you talking about? You have lots of talents. Like what? You're a great teacher. I've seen the way you work with kids. And you're really good with music. You can't doubt yourself. I never thought of it like that. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I just need faith. Faith to move the mountains. You mocking me? Only a little. All right. Tonight we sleep in a hotel. We have money for a motel? Yeah. It's for tonight. Good. Then I could take a shower. <laughs> Me too. I know I smell bad. Are you trying to tell me that I smell bad? No, you don't smell don't bad. Don't touch me. Let me eat. I think that lady was an angel. Maybe. We should go to church on Sunday. This is good. Did you know she carries around a Bible? Really? How did you find out? When I stole a pin from her backpack earlier, I saw a Bible. You, you didn't steal a Bible, did you? No, I didn't want the thing. But I did take $10 for my daily snack. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Hey, Anna. Oh, 
a couple stopped by looking for you. Are they still here? No, they left. Do you know who they were? No. Well, if they come back, I'll be in my office, all right? Okay. Hey, do you think you're better than us? Let's see what you can read. Come on, just give it back. Oh, do you have water? Yes! Get it. Could you just stop playing around and give it back? Do. Can you just give her her book back? Look at London. She thinks she's super girl. Hey, 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 guys, guys. She's just practicing her Christian religion. Helping the weak. <laughs> <laughs> see what's in her back. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here. Can you just put it back, please? Hmm. Wait, did Jesus say that if someone wants your clothes, you should give them to them? Wait, is that in there? I think the Mormon Bible says it. No, not even Buddhists believe that. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of... Oh, a bunch of what? Say it. Since you asked, Matthew 5 says... Be kind to those who hurt you, and if anyone asks for your clothes, give it to them. Well then, I want your Bible, and that jacket you're wearing right now, and your backpack, <laughs> of course. You want my jacket? Yeah. Hey! What's going on here? Is there a problem? Get in your seat. Hey, come on in. Hey, Pastor. Um, Pastor, I need some, I need some help. What's up? I know I've been delivered from my addictions, but honestly. I'm still thinking about this stuff all the time. I understand. A lot of people overcome addiction, but they don't overcome that habit. Your body's used to doing a certain thing. You need to break that habit. How can I break the habit? I've been addicted to this stuff my whole life. Honestly, it... I think it's a demon. Well, a lot of people are delivered from spirits of drugs and alcohol and they overcome it. Those addictions are hard to overcome, but even after those demons go, they still have that habit. They still have the desire because they're used to it. And the only way you're going to overcome those habits are with discipline. Can't you just cast out the spirit of habit or something? Well, Johnny, not everything is a spirit. Here, let me uh, let me read you. Let's see. Okay, so Psalms chapter five, verse four through five. It says. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall ever shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all the workers of iniquity. See, those things aren't of God. They're of Satan. They're of your flesh, of your desires, your habits. Only you can break those. And the way you can break that is by hating those habits, by hating sin. Whatever it takes, Pastor, I'm, I'm ready. Dwell on the word, Johnny. And overcome that iniquity, your sin, your flesh, and God will use you. I promise. You're on the right path. You're a good guy. Thanks, Pastor. Jesus. I've been to call him, but uh, maybe it's a little more faster. He's perfect.
you can notice that. Hey. Hey, Pastor. Can you pray for me? I've been having trouble sleeping. Of course. Father God, you help this man, Lord God. Help him to overcome whatever he's going through in his life, Lord God. Give him a good night's rest. Help him put all of his worries and stresses on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I saw you in church last Sunday. Yes, sir. I'll see you there again, right? Yes, sir, you will. Thank you, Pastor. Jesus loves you. I'm glad Jesus is with me now. Amen. Just got to know, he's always watching. You're never alone. You know, I don't understand a lot of the things when I read the Bible, but I think it's made me a better person. And that's all it is. You got to take it day by day. And then after a while, you're not trying. You're just doing. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Hey, London. Let's go. I want to walk home. What happened? Where's your backpack and your jacket? Nothing. It's fine. Do I need to talk to a teacher? No. No. Come on, let's go. Can I be homeschooled? Sure. When do you want to start? Yesterday. London, I'm sorry you had a hard day. Come on, let's go. I'll be okay. Sorry. Are you crying? No. What are you thinking about? My childhood? Yeah, I, I try not to think about mine. You know, you probably cry too. I never want to go back to my father or that foster home. Well, we're not going to. But I do have a few good memories from that place. Really? Not me. Well, I met you there. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there you go. We fell in love with this foster home. Exactly. And look at us. Still in love, still together. As rich as anyone can be. I'm gonna be 18 soon. Oh, that's good. You don't want it to be in the system anymore. Moving on up. We need to celebrate my birthday. Okay, what do you want? I don't know if it's anything that I, I need. Mm, just name it and I'll try my best. I would like to sleep in a bed. Anything else? Maybe take a hot shower. You know, I think I can arrange that. Huh? I think that can be done. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? Make no mistake, we're living in the last days. In Matthew 24, Jesus told us to watch out for these signs. Let's turn our Bibles to Matthew 24, verse 4 through 12. Mm. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, for nation will rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. I, I don't want to be left behind. It's okay. 
It's okay. We, we need to change. Who's we? Right, right. This isn't a scary thing for believers. It's a good thing to go to eternal home with joy and happiness. But we need to be watchful mm. and warn those who are loved and near and dear to us, for these are the times. Jesus, you heal Sarah's Langler gun. Your word says that by your stripes we are healed. Touch Sarah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. A little better? Yes. How's your teeth doing, by the way? Since you prayed for me, no more pain. Are you sure your leg's okay? It seems serious. It, it hurts a little bit, but he'll be fine, Pastor. You think we need to go to the doctor? No, no, I know Jesus can heal me. You're a great woman of faith, like in the Bible, but sometimes God works through doctors, okay? Okay, Pastor. Tell you what, I'll pray for you again, but if in a couple of days it still doesn't feel any better, I'll take you to the doctor myself, all right? All right. Jesus, we ask that you touch this leg. Your word says that by your stripes, Sarah is healed. Please, help her recover swiftly. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. You I'll be praying. are not saved. Hey, hey, hey. You are not saved, Ryan. If you were saved, you'd be able to give up everything. What, so you gave up everything? Yeah, I did. First of all, you were homeless like the rest of us here. What are you trying to say, man? You didn't have too much to give up. Pastor Joe, Johnny says I'm not saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 says that if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Savior, then you are saved. I am saved. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart. Ryan, Johnny, let's, let's just take it easy, okay? Let's take a walk, all right? Yeah. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will replay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink, for in so doing, you'll heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So God wants us to love our enemies? Vengeance is of the Lord. I know it can be hard sometimes. But you're a smart girl, you can do it. I guess I'm not that smart. I know Sandy's been stealing from you and messing with you. She messes with everyone. Well, we talked to your teacher and to the principal, so. And you guys are going to be homeschooled soon. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just keep your spirits up. Everything's going to be OK. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. With what? Vengeance. With what? Justice. With what? With good. Hey, I'm going in to see the principal now. I'll be praying for you. Yeah. It's gotta stop. Yeah. I was just reading an article it was saying that bullying really scars a kid's heart. Yeah. Things have really changed. I'll see you soon, okay? Okay, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I know you guys are doing a good job at the school, but I have some real concerns. I am so sorry that London has been going through this, but we're watching. More needs to be done than just watching. What exactly needs to be done? There needs to be consequences for actions. I agree. But they're children who are having issues at home as well. It just doesn't give them the right to hurt other kids. There's been more and more of these problems 
since prayer has been taken out of schools in 1962? Yeah. Prayer needs to come back. Would you pray for our school? Of course. Thank you. Whatever happens with London and Danny, just know that we will continue to pray for the school. No. Papa, stop. What do you think you're doing here? Mm. Yeah. Papa, stop. Stop. Come no. Come no. He's not here. He's not here. I never want to see him again. You don't have to, okay? So evil. Many adults are evil and selfish. We're so alone. We don't have anyone. We have each other. That's all we need. Are we sleeping here again? Tomorrow's Sunday, all right? Let's go to that church. Let's try to get some sleep. I'm not dressed for church. Me neither. It's all right. It's fine. No one will notice. I shall leave this here. No. <laughs> Don't. Just take it with us. Nobody would steal it. It's right outside a church. I heard from my cellmates that there's a lot of homeless people and thieves at this church. I don't trust it. Are you sure? Yeah. Just take it. Come on. Can't believe we're going to church. I don't know. You want to leave? No. The word says, as believers, we are family. We are called to help one another. Maybe they can help us. Shh. As Christ well, did you would hear help what us. The pastor Michael, just be quiet. Said? I know there are some of you out here who need help. And the Lord is calling for you. Salvation. I invite you to come forward and give your life to the Lord. If there's anyone out there who feels God calling, please come forward. I am really glad to see you guys here. I want Jesus in my heart. Please repeat after me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all my sins. For all my sins. I surrender. I surrender. My life to you. My life to you. I believe. I believe. That you died. That you died. And rose again. And rose again. For my sins. For my sins. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Congratulations.
Hey, kids. Pastor, come play with us. I don't know. You ready to win, Josiah? I always win. That's not true. You lost last week. I don't remember that. <laughs> well, I think I got to take care of something over here, so. Jaden, catch. Go get it. Go get it. Thank you for letting me stay in your home. You're welcome. It, it's really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Why don't you come here, have a seat? It's okay. Can I get you some water or tea? I'm okay. Okay. I'm really glad I came to church. Me too. So, what happened with your parents? I don't know. But I, I don't want to know. Okay. That's okay, you don't have to tell me anything. How long have you been a member of the church? About 20 years. It's a really long time. I really like it. I think you will too. I, I'm sure I, I will if others are like you. Oh, thank you. So are you comfortable in your room? Yes, Yeah. I, I am. Thank Good. you. Good. And your husband? Oh, I, I'm single. I don't have a husband. How's it going? Hey, Mike. Hey, uh, I just wanted to thank you for providing a place for my girlfriend and I. Oh, I, can't, I can't thank you enough. Jesus loves you both very much. Actually, I... Did you think you could pray for me to get a job? Yeah, of course. After I get a job, uh, I want to marry Carmela. I think that's a great idea. How long have you guys been uh, living on the streets? Long enough to never want to live on the streets again. That's for sure. I bet. It's tough. Living on the streets is no fun. I understand. No, you don't. Well, my grandpa, he was homeless for most of his young life. Where is he now? He's with God. He found a church, and the pastor helped him get a start on life. It's a great story. It's great it to is, hear. It is. Um, <laughs> I miss him very much. I'm sure he's a great man. But uh, I'll keep you in our prayers, all right? You and Carmela. Thank you. God bless. God bless you. See you in church. Oh, I'll be there. Maybe Sunday. What's wrong? Oh. Just a, a bit of more. Oh. Are you pregnant? It's okay.
I miss my school friends. You want to go back to school? No, that's not it. I didn't even know you had friends. Hmm, well... Oh, that kid Nathan. Hmm, you always seem sad all the time. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe an alcoholic uncle? But what I do know is that his parents got divorced. When I get older, I'm not gonna get married. Why is that? I'll tell you when you're older. No, tell me now. I don't think I will. Please? No. Should I good? Thank you. Oh, there's something I wanted to tell you. What is it, bud? It's probably gonna make up a story again. No, no, that's not it. Okay, well, just say what you have to say. Well, London said she doesn't want to get married. That's okay. She can do whatever she wants. See, Danny? It's my choice. But the Bible says you have to get married. No, uh, 1 Corinthians 7, verse 38. It says, you know, God's okay with either way. Yep, the Apostle Paul never got married. Danny could never be like Apostle Paul because he likes girls too much. I do not like girls. Don't you want to have like a dozen kids or something? Minions, not children. Wow. Well, if you have a dozen kids, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of grandkids. Yep. So, Danny, when am I gonna get a sister-in-law? Yeah, Danny. When uh, when am I gonna get another daughter? Didn't you forget she's right there? <laughs> daughter-in-law. That's a better daughter. <laughs> okay, Danny. We'll see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so quiet. I hope the kids like being homeschooled. It looks like all our kids will be homeschooled. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't want any of them to be bullied like London was. Times have changed. The Bible says these are the end times. You remember what Danny said? What, about this being a girl? Well, I'm okay with either way, boy or girl. Love you. Love you. <sighs> Pastor. Hey, Rose. Hi. How's uh, Carmela doing? Oh, she's she's been working real hard. That's good. Thank you for letting her stay at your home. Oh, yeah, anytime, anytime. Uh, Pastor, we need to schedule a doctor's appointment for her sometime next week. Is she sick? No, not sick, but she does have morning sickness. Yeah. Okay, thank you for letting me know. You're welcome. Hey, guys, come on, let's go. I like it when we study like this. Then be quiet and study. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Ask me later. Can I play craft mine? No. I thought homeschool meant I'll be able to get away with a lot more. Too bad, buddy. Hey, we've been waiting for you. We wanted to tell you that Michael got a job, and so did I. That's wonderful news, guys. Yeah, I start working tomorrow. Amazing. Um, I've actually been praying about you guys. Uh, you guys have time to talk? Yes. Sure. Let's go to my office. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're gonna pray for you guys. And I would tell not to pastor. Can I speak to Pastor Joe? Oh, oh he's in a meeting. Can you tell him over here? I think you have to wait. Okay, I'll come back another time. All right, see you. Yeah, so I will make it sure Pastor now. So, have you guys thought about getting married? Yes. yes. Good. But I, I don't have enough money for a wedding. You know, we can give you a wedding. I'd want to get married right away. 
don't worry about it. God will take care of everything. Thank you. No worries, guys. Now, we have a lady who works for a bridal store, and she'll get you both fitted right away. <laughs> How's next week sound? Oh, that's perfect. Good. We'll do it right after our service, all right? What you reading? Revelations. Must be serious. I don't want to get left behind. In Matthew 25, the wise virgins, they took extra oil with their lamps. And when the bridegroom was delayed, everyone slept. But at midnight, a cry was heard saying, the bridegroom is coming. The wise virgins arose and they trimmed the lamps. You see, they had extra oil, and they were ready. And we need to be ready, too. That's all it is. I think my problem is Danny. How so? I love him, but he's just so annoying. If you really love him, you love him for everything. You love Danny for Danny, no matter what. Danny can't change. Unless London changes first. I love you, okay? We're living in the last days. <sighs> Israel, there's a clock for Jesus' return. The Bible shows that before the great tribulation, Jesus will come for his bride. We will be taken up into heaven. And there will be a seven-year feast for us believers. During that time on earth, the great tribulation, the first three and a half years, it'll look like peace. But after that, the Antichrist will show his true colors. And he will persecute the believers. Revelations 13 verse 6 says, Then he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. At that time, the Antichrist will force people to take his mark, the mark of the beast. As soon as you receive the mark of the beast, it's over. You belong to Satan. London, are you okay? I'm sorry. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was so mean to you all the time. I don't want to get left behind. Daddy, give your sister a hug. I'm really glad to hear that, London. I'm really glad to see that and to hear that. 
God is moving here in this place. If anyone here needs prayer, please come forward. Let me be clear. When God comes for his bride, it is to be a happy moment. In Israel, when they waited for their bridegroom, the people were excited. It was a festival, a party. The bride could not wait to meet her groom. And that's how it'll be. How can we help you, ma'am? Pastor, please pray for my daughters. They need help. Where are they? I left them at home. My youngest is suicidal. She steals my car and goes out at night. And her older sister, she's still doing drugs. I'm sorry. I just don't want to lose them. We will pray for them. <laughs> Jesus, please help my daughters. God is here. He is in charge. All right. That was scary. You want to talk about it? In my vision, I guess, I woke up and there was breakfast on the stove and the sink was running, but nobody was there. And I realized you guys got raptured. I ran and I hid. And then these men took me. Well, if you have a pure heart and you're seeking God, I don't believe you'll be left behind. I know that if I do get left behind, I won't take the mark of the beast. Because then there's no way for me to go to heaven. I'm proud that you know the scriptures. I memorized it. Revelations 19.20. Yeah. Those who take the mark of the beast, they will be thrown alive to the lake of fire. It's rough. That's why I fixed my heart today. Well, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. I'm proud of you. What are you doing here? I like you. I was left behind. Did you hear that? It's them. They're coming to kill us. We should run. They killed my brother for not taking the mark of the beast. And they killed your brother? Sister, too. What about your parents? Disappeared. Like the Bible said. Get out of here. I can feel where we are. I was just, um, you know, never mind. Love one another unconditionally, the way that Jesus loved his bride, unconditionally. He loved her so much that he died for her. 
Michael, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? I do. Carmela, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. What God has put together, let no man separate. You two are now one flesh. May I present to you all, Mr. and Mrs. Schilling. Anyways, guys, we're so glad to have you guys out here. Just know that as long as we are able, we will always provide. This is the love of Jesus we extend to you. You are loved. We just want you to know that. Can we sing that song one more time, Pastor? You got it, Ryan. <laughs>